You can see before you the uh, modules which go up to make the TOF barrel. Inside these modules you'll find detector strips like this. This is a strip that inside these modules, these are full of these strips, and this strip is used is made using a new technology that we call a multi-gap RPC and I want to explain some of the uh, ideas that went into designing this detector. Okay, so I'm going to tell you about the uh, multi-gap resistor plate chamber. This is a strip which goes inside the Alice modules. If you hold it up and if you could see inside this gap here, you would see a stack of glass plates. Inside each of these gaps here, there are five gas gaps. These gas gaps are created by glass plates separated by fishing line. In this model here, which is just an expanded view to show you what's inside this, uh, this uh, detector, you can see these glass plates which have been cut. Just to show you, normally they are long glass plates of this length making up the full strip. But here you can see one glass plate and then another glass plate and in between we run this fishing line. This fishing line is just standard commercial fishing line which we buy from the fishing store. And we go zigzag across the glass plate and then we just put another glass plate on top of it. So the construction of this uh, detector is really somewhat simple. You start with one of these outside plates which is covered by this red coating, which I'll say a word on in a moment. Then you put in a layer of fishing line and put another glass plate without any coating, without any connection. Then another layer of fishing line, another glass plate, and so on, until you finish with the top piece of glass, again covered with red. This red coating is a resistive layer made by acrylic paint loaded with metal oxides and that is to apply a voltage. So on, there is a voltage difference between this top plate and this bottom plate. Normally we operate at some voltage something like uh, 12,000 volts and therefore since there are five gas gaps made by these fishing lines this is a little bit over 2,000 volts per gas gap. A particle will then go through this uh, detector and create a gas avalanche inside one of these small gas gaps. The pickup pads, which you can see here, see the electrons in this gas avalanche. So these pick up the signal of what is happening inside this stack. Since the gas gap is very small, we can get a very precise uh, time from this, and thus the name time of flight, we can measure the time very precisely. The, the signal comes out at a very precise time. And since there are many gaps, it means that we are efficient even at uh, atmospheric pressure. So we do not have to put this inside the pressure box. Okay, we're now here looking at some of uh, the chambers built for the EEE project. This is the extreme energy project in Italy where each high school will be equipped with a muon telescope. These detectors are built using the same technology as we use for the Alice Toff detector. However, now they come in a larger size because we want to detect muons. One of the reasons why we chose this technology was the very small gaps which allow us to work in a very pure avalanche mode, thus the gas does not degrade. We want to have these in schools where we will only be able to flow a very small amount of gas, maybe just filling them up every uh, month and then they have to run. So we had to use something which could just continue to run without a constant uh, flow of gas. And this is why we chose this multi-gap RPC. This is a cosmic ray setup for testing the Alice Toff modules. These modules are assembled in Italy and sent here for testing just before we assembled them into a super module ready to put into the Alice magnet. 
here we have five modules stacked one above each other, which we test with cosmic rays. And this, this is a final test before a final assembly into the super module.